Hi guys, got a really popular light on the market today from Besva to review. It's uh, their new Pro Series. Um, this is the smaller one, the 1000, which is around 100 watts, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna test it today. I'm gonna do an unboxing, take it out, have a look around and um, set it up in its uh, optimum area, which I believe is two foot by two foot or 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter grow area. Optimize the hanging height and do a power test to test its system efficiency. So uh, yeah, let's unbox it and see what we find. Yeah, just impacted now. I have to say it's a nice feel to it. Quite big, it's about 14 by 10 inches, so maybe 35 by 25 centimeters in size. Um, got the PCB here, white LEDs, cool white and warm white LEDs, evenly distributed across the board, as well as some reds to increase the system efficiency. Got the um, silicone coating over them to protect them, which is a nice feature. It's a little bit marked by the packaging. It had protective packaging on it, that's okay. Turning over, see it's got a really nice design to the heatsink. Pretty cool looking. Nice uh, covering for the driver. You got manual dimmer controls on it, which again is nice, and your hanging points. So yeah, all together looks good. Checking the manual, it does say it's for a two and a half foot by two and a half foot area for flowering, so that means 75 by 75 uh, centimeters. Given that it's 105 watts is what it says, uh, I'm going to test it in a 2x2 two two, though and just optimize it for that area. Keeps it standard with uh, a lot of the other lights I've tested of, of this size. So yeah, nice, uh, nice so far. Let's hang it up in the test area, optimize the height and uh, we'll do the efficiency test. Okay, so we set it up in the uh, two by two or 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter area. And according to the manual um, for flowering, it should be at 100% at a minimum of um, 14 inches or um, I said about 35 centimeters. So that's what I've hung it at. It's maximizing at 690, 700 micromoles in the center. So it's about right. So I'm gonna go ahead and test at this. So we'll take 16 measurements in a grid and um, be able to measure the total power um, reaching the plant canopy and therefore the system efficiency. So let's get on with the test. Okay, so finished up the test. Uh, as usual with uh, most LED grow lights today, the um, spectrum is perfect. It's uh, white with the um, red LEDs for efficiency enhancement. These whites, mid sort of uh, color temperature whites are perfect for um, full cycle growing. So perfect for vegging and, and flowering. Uh, so no issue there. In terms of the test itself, I think I was right to, to test it in the two by two or 60 by 60 centimeter area because uh, it gave an average of 543 micromoles. And uh, you know, you could be pushing that up to even six or 700 micromoles comfortably. So um, putting it in any larger space will dilute that and, and it wouldn't be optimizing the space. So I'd recommend this for a two by two, not for, for two and a half by two and a half as, as it's um, uh, specified in the manual. The package, it's a meanwhile driver and um, Samsung LEDs. I was expecting, to be honest, a little bit of higher system efficiency given the packaging and, and the components. The efficiency result was um, 1.84 um, usable PPF per watt or micromoles per watt system efficiency, which is um, a little bit lower, as I said, than I would have expected for this package. Generally, you'd want to be above two, um, and that's sort of where the competition is at the moment. However, it's a good value light. It's nicely built, uh, widely available, and uh, yeah, I quite like it. As I said, I would prefer to see a bit of a higher, higher system efficiency and a bit more um, power, but um, yeah, I quite like it. Be interested to hear what you think. Please let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, we'll be on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.